we meet again in Madam No Shamsia's biology video and today's topic is on tissue culture. Now we look at how tissue culture is done. It starts with a small piece of plant tissue is taken from the plant normally at the tip of the plant either the shoot or the root and it is known as explant. Okay, and this explant is put in a sterile jelly. Not only the jelly is sterile, the explant also is sterilized. Okay, and this nutrient and this jelly, sorry, contain nutrient and also the plant hormone, which normally is oxygen. Okay, the hormone will make the cell in this, uh, the cell that we put just now, that is the explant to divide by mitosis okay it will keep on repeating dividing until it produce what we call as callus so callus is undifferentiated cells next the callus is then transferred to an, another jelly that contain suitable plant hormone to stimulate the development of the plant roots then the colors with the developed root is uh, transferred to another jelly which contain another hormone to stimulate the development of the shoots. Then at the end, the colors already develop into tiny plantlets. So these are examples of the tiny plantlets. And the last step, the plantlets produces now will be transplanted into pots or soil where they can grow into matured plants. Okay, they are already been transported in the last step. Now we look at the example from the past year's questions. This is SPM 2015. The questions, the farmer wants to produce a large number of banana plants in a short time for commercial purposes. State the technique that can be used by the farmer and describe the technique. So this one is 3 marks. So I'm not going to list all the steps since it is only 3 marks. So one mark is for the technique that will be the tissue culture technique. Okay, to describe the technique, I only choose some of the steps just now. So the first one, a small piece of plant tissue is taken which is known as explant. One mark. They are placed in a sterile jelly which contain nutrient and plant hormones. Another mark. The plant hormones make the cell in the plant cell to divide by mitosis to produce callus. Now, if the question asks about the advantages of tissue culture, I've listed for you five advantages which I think is enough for you to go for your SPM questions. Right? So the first one, many plantlets can be produced in a few weeks time from a small amount of tissue. So in other words, you can produce a lot of plants in a, a short time. Second one, the new plants produced by the tissue culture are disease free because normally we only selected the good traits or the desirable traits to be a uh, clone or to be uh, to undergo the tissue culture the third one this tissue culture can uh, can be planted around the year irrespective of the weather or the season since we are doing it in the lab the third one very 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 little space is needed to develop the new plants by this technique and the last one we can produce the exact copy of the plants required that have the desirable traits and the last one is on disadvantages of tissue culture the first one it is costly the second one no variations in all the plants so it goes to the third disadvantage that is the plant will be vulnerable to the environmental changes because the resistance to the diseases is the same so if there is any environmental changes if one plant die meaning all the plants will die we have come to the end of this video 
If you have any questions on tissue culture, you can drop your questions down there. I will answer the questions for you or you may discuss with your subject teacher. And don't forget to like this video and also subscribe my channel if you want to get more updates on the biology video. Till then, bye-bye!